What would happen if you spent a nanosecond on the surface of the sun? Would it warm you up, burn you to a cinder, or do nothing at all? The sun is a gigantic ball of fire, way bigger than Earth, with an insanely hot surface reaching about 5,500 degrees Celsius. It provides us with light, warmth, and energy, but it's also incredibly dangerous up close. Now imagine you somehow appeared there for just one nanosecond. What do you think would happen? Understanding a nanosecond. A nanosecond is just one billionth of a second, so short that even light, the fastest thing in the universe, only travels about 30 centimeters in that time. To put it in perspective, a blink takes about 100 million nanoseconds. So your trip to the sun would be over long before you could even think about it. But does that mean you'd be safe? The sun's extreme environment. The sun's surface is ridiculously hot, hotter than molten lava, which is already thousands of degrees. But heat isn't your only problem. The sun constantly bombards space with deadly radiation, including ultraviolet rays, X-rays, and charged particles moving at insane speeds. Even in just one nanosecond, you'd be exposed to a blast of intense radiation, far beyond anything humans can withstand. What happens in that nanosecond? In just one nanosecond, your body wouldn't have time to fully heat up or turn to ash, but your skin would immediately begin absorbing extreme radiation. The molecules in your outermost skin layers would start to break apart, and the damage to your DNA would be catastrophic. Your cells wouldn't be able to repair themselves properly, leading to severe consequences even after you return to Earth. The Aftermath of Instant Teleportation if you somehow teleported back to Earth instantly, you wouldn't feel the heat anymore, but the effects would still haunt you. The radiation dose you received in that fraction of a second would be enough to cause massive cell damage. You'd likely suffer radiation poisoning, which could lead to symptoms like nausea, severe burns, and even long-term genetic damage. If you were in space, the sudden change in pressure would make things even worse potentially causing your body fluids to boil due to the lack of atmospheric pressure. What if you stayed longer? Now, let's say instead of one nanosecond, you managed to stay on the sun's surface for a full second. Well, that would be the end. The extreme heat and radiation would vaporize you instantly, turning you into plasma, essentially disintegrating you into your most basic atomic components. In other words, you'd officially become part of the sun, Final thoughts. So even though one nanosecond isn't enough time to fully burn you up, the radiation would still do serious damage. The sun is an absolute powerhouse and even the tiniest exposure would be incredibly dangerous. The next time you step outside and feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, just remember, this is the same star that could vaporize you in an instant if you got too close.